Welcome to Local Press. In this video, I will show you how we can easily edit our header and footer in Local Press. So, before starting to edit Local Press header and footer, we should import our demo properly, like as we have described in previous videos. And then we need to go to the dashboard. And for the dashboard, we will go to the appearance and we need to check our header, footer, and gloves. After clicking it, here we can find header and footer that have already built in. We need to click on edit with Elementor for header and for footer same edit with Elementor. And yes, it has loaded. So here is actually our header. This is our logo. Uh, we can change the logo from here. We can edit the menu uh, that means the menu design and we can select the menu names the, the selected menus actually. Uh, for the menu we can go to the dashboard again and we will go to the menus and here is our the menu this click uh, the selected menu is menu two in here so if we want to edit here like we need to change the button book now we can rename it that uh us let's say is it updated or not okay. if we reload the site and you'll find it has called us it has already edited similarly we can edit the footer from the footer section here is our footer we can change the logo as like image we can easily place any other elements that has already in elementor also we can change the social icons we can change menus and any other things we can easily edit. we can change colors like in this section we can change the brand colors to it has currently in blue we need to make in green okay that's it has already made in green let's click on the update and reload again and if you go to the end okay that's it has already updated so that's the actually for header footer builder in local place in this video i will show you that one of the most innovative and impressive feature of local press white labeling so let's see how it works so to before working the white label feature we need to access the local press options and go to the white labeling here we will find a white labeling feature option i have already on it but if it's default it's in off mode so if we click on on we can find some options in here to fill up so here's the theme settings we can change our theme name theme description theme version theme author author url screenshot text and so many things so i have set my theme name in here my custom theme and the theme description is uh, the description description of custom theme then theme version we can make it 1.0 theme author it could be uh, a beer author url https example.com and theme screenshot we can upload a custom screenshot in here like we can add this image you can add any of image if you want no issue in here then click on select we can add theme tags i've just leave it blank because it's no, not so mandatory in here and if we click on save then we will go to the appearance and go to themes and we will get this result that the local press is completely height and white level so <clears throat> user couldn't understand that especially for agency user could not understand that which themes are used or not if you click on the theme details that my custom theme version 1.2 by the author and the description and the screenshot in here so <clears throat> yeah, i think that uh, it will be great uh, option for agency users so please try if you are really an agency user or if you're already an agency purchaser and let us know if you have faced any issue in here in this video i will show you that how we can actually limit access for especially the agency users so uh, especially for agencies who uses local press in their different client website they need to control their clients access uh, from different plugins or some custom codes as the customers or the users couldn't access all of the options 
and they can control all of the things on their site it's for security purpose and especially for white labeling and also for service uh, purpose so let's see that local press how can you help to improve or to control all the access from a single panel so if we uh, control the agency uh, the access limit feature we need to go to local press option and the limit access and in limit access we will find some options in here we just click on hide or show in here like if we hide the elementor settings i have don't didn't install elementor yet that's why the element option not coming but we can control other options in here like we can hide elementor settings wordpress settings theme settings plugins this user can install any third party plugins or any third party themes yet even user settings tool settings and if we click on save and if we click on reload <coughs> then the settings has already hide so last but not least we have uh, we didn't hide the local base settings yet but if we want to hide the settings we can click on select and it will hide but an important issue that if we hide already then how can we get back if we want then we need to follow this message we save this url first as you can access directly the local base setting from here okay let's see we have just copied the link in here and paste in, in another br browser and the tab okay stay then we click on save on and click on save if we reload it that local press option has already hide if we click on dashboard we couldn't access the local press option yet so how actually we get back to it that we have already saved the local press admin url if we go to this url it will redirect us to the local press original admin panel so if we go to the limit access here we can hide the settings in off and if we save it and if we reload it then all of the settings will be back in here then we can easily access all of our custom settings like what we link call for all general settings or even we not we can make it also the height of or we can control in the settings from here so that's actually the limit access feature